Here's the situation. You have a list of weekly ratios both above and below the minimum requirement. What you need is a way to highlight the ratios that are below the requirement. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have my weekly calls answered, my weekly calls missed, and the resulting ratios in a call center. This is my minimum requirement, 5 to 1 per week. Any ratio that's below 5 to 1 per week I want to call attention to by coloring it in a different color. Now, Excel has a way to do that. It's called conditional formatting. You can change the formatting based on a condition. And since I know that this is the result of a formula, that's going to be my condition. Let's take a look at it. See, the formula is already in here. The only part that I'm really concerned about is this right here. I don't need the round, and I don't need this added text. But this is a result of a formula. So first thing I'm going to do is highlight my entire range. I'm working in Excel 2010. Conditional formatting is found on the Home tab. I'm going to press it, come down to New Rule, and out of this list right here, I'm going to choose this one, Use a Formula to Determine Which Cells to Format. Now I have to type in a formula. So, like I said, this is the only part that I'm concerned about. This is going to get me the 4.5, but now I don't need the 4.5. I need to know if this is less than my minimum, so I'm going to say less than 5. Now I come to the Format button to choose my format. I want it to, to pop out off the paper, so I'm going to fill the cell with red. Come over to the font, look for something that has more contrast against red, and choose white. Make it bold. Put a border around it. Click OK. Now this is what it's going to look like when this is true. Click OK. Boom. There we go. Instantly and automatically. It colored for me the ones that I'm interested in based on the condition I gave it. Now if any of these change, this will change accordingly as well. Like let's say that was 5. Or we can come up here and make this 55. It changes accordingly. So it's a really neat, easy, quick way to bring attention to things that you think need attention. And you can apply this really to anything you're working with. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.